see whether you are qualified for that position you are applying for. But on your media, no, on show CV. But as for God, He calls a man without assessing the CV of the man. Uh huh. The onunya me pen of friend. Now God calls, but as for any God, man that He He calls, so desires to call. So God, God does not call anyone or just anyone. But God calls certain people. Now when God calls you, he will mold you or prepare and he will prepare you. He will prepare you according to his own desire. Not or the one you and then he would use you to perform. And so there are people who receive a direct call from God. And there are some others whose call are calls within a call in, in saying so there are those who have been called by those who have been directly called by God into the ministry. Answer the scripture. No? Now, before we read the scripture, your direct call. We have the direct call. And your call through a called person. And we have a call that is a call through a person called directly from God. Moses on your direct call. Now, Moses. Received a direct call from God. Now at the time when he was playing the role of a shepherd. And he was shepherding the flock of Jethro his father-in-law. And he saw a burning bush. Now he decided that he was going to go close to observe that burning bush and to understand why the bush was burning but it was not being consumed by the fire. Now, bush, no? now as he was approaching the burning bush and, uh, friend, no? then God called him. A direct call. He heard the audible call of God directly to him. Moses. Saying Moses. Moses. Moses, you know, take off the sandals from your feet. Because the land on which you are standing is a holy ground. Now, it means that the creator is able to speak with an audible voice so that the created beings will hear the voice of the creator. Samuel on your direct call. Now, Samuel is an example of a person that received a direct call El from Eli. God. And he received that call in the house of Eli. Or say, Samuel, Samuel. Now, the voice said, Samuel, Samuel. Now, Samuel was only a child. And he was seven years at that time. A call. The spiritual father. The sofu penny. Eliho. Kubusa and his papa wo fremiana. Eli se. Menfro kokoda. Now someone went to his spiritual father Eli. And inquired of him whether or not Eli was the one calling him. But Eli responded and said to him. I have not called you so go back to bed and sleep. Second time. Samuel SRT voice. Now, the second time, Samuel heard an audible voice. Afei, Eli, a perceived. Now, Eli perceived. Okachre, Samuel said. And he said to Samuel, And he no safre obi emu Now, Okachre, ni pakrono se. Erade kasa, no wakua eti. Now, if you hear that voice calling your name again, just respond and say, Master, speak, for thy servant heareth. And so Samuel, though 
He was a child. Onya direct call from Elohim. He received a direct call from Elohim. Elijah and Susunya direct call. Now Elijah is another example of a man who received a direct call from God. Bible said Elijah I will free Tish. The Bible said Elijah, the man from Tish. Was a powerful prophet of now, God. Now Elijah was a powerful prophet of God. Paul and Susunya direct call. Paul also received a direct call from God. Where a New Testament. And this is in the New Testament. I believe I believe you know the story about Paul when he was on his way to Damascus. And Jesus and Jesus revealed himself to him on the way to Damascus. Jesus friend. And Jesus called him. The Lord a friend. The Lord called Paul. Saul. 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 And so the Lord called him by his name Saul. Saul. So why persecutest me? And Saul said, Now Saul responded and said, Who art thou, O Lord? And the Lord retorted and said that I am the Lord whom thou persecutest. Direct call. Now these are examples of of direct calls yes, from yes, God. Yes, yes, yes. Exodus, now, chapter 3, verse 1 to 6. Let us turn our Bibles to the book of Exodus, chapter 3, verses 1 to 6. Does yes, yes. God speak? Let us hear the reading of the word of God. A scripture reading for today's 31st night service is taken from the second book of Moses called Exodus, chapter 3, verses 1 to 6. Exodus, chapter 3, verses 1 to 6. Shall we hear the word of God? Now Moses kept the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priests of Midian, and he led the flock to the backside of the desert, and came to the mountain of God, even to Horeb. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a flame of fire, out of the midst of a bush. And he looked, and behold, the bush burned with fire, and the bush was not consumed. And Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush is not bent. And when the Lord saw that he turned aside to see, God called unto him out of the midst of the bush and said, Moses, Moses. And he answered, Here am I. And he said, Draw not nigh hither. Put off thy shoes from off thy feet. For the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. Verse 6. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. And I repeat the verse 5 and 6. And he said, Draw not nigh hither, put off thy shoes from off thy feet, for the place whereon thou standest is holy ground. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. This ends our scripture reading for tonight. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Please resume Hallelujah. your seats. Amen. Jesus. Put your hands together for Jesus. Uh, dear Reverend, every dear channel, the word of God. Now, what Lady Reverend read to us is the word of God. Not just say. Moses, 
What it means is that Moses heard the audible voice of God. Problem. Now, this is a problem or a challenge that some people have. Now, their problem is that they, they doubt whether or not God is able to speak to the hearing of man. The reason why men of God and as a prophet face difficulties and say, now, one of the difficulties that pro prophets face is that many people do not believe that a mortal man can hear the voice of an immortal God. Many people do not believe that when a man says that God has spoken to me, that person becomes a laughing stock. People begin to scorn and scoff at that person. And some people try to make mockery of this man who has said God has spoken to him or God has called him. And they mock him and say that on which telephone number did God call you? And he a hardly difficult and so it appears that it is a very hard thing for some people to accept that God can speak to a man. A problem. It is the problem of many people. so because what many many and take his phone is serious. And so if somebody says that he has heard the voice of God. Or God has opened his eyes to see a vision. Many people do not take such people seriously. But me person me mau biya oti me ne ene oti asiyese nyami a woye nyami a woye hong huma yung huno no oti mi kasachre abodiye. But 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 I want to submit to everyone seated under the sound of my voice that God, who is immortal, God who is invisible. God who is a spirit, he is able to speak audibly for man to hear. Now the fact that a lot of people do not hear the voice of God does not mean that God does not speak. Now, now some people ask, why do I not hear the voice of God? But as for you, you claim that God has spoken to you. Now, let me say something to you. Now, I have two eagles in my house. Now, every morning when you go by the side of your cage, now when you wake up in the morning and you go close to their cage you would observe their mannerism and the way they are behaving and you would realize that there is some form of communication going on between the two eagles now, because I am not an eagle, their form of communication is unintelligible to me. Now, the fact that their form of communication is unintelligible to me does not mean that they are not communicating. Now, they are communicating or they do communicate but because I am not an eagle, I do not understand their form of communication. Into parrots, any parrot, kasa. And so parrots speak with each other. Dove, any dove, e kasa. Doves speak with each other. Monkey, ni monkey, kasa. Monkeys speak with each other. Nenchie, ni nenchie, kasa. Cows speak with each other. But, uye, ni pa, 
Now, because you are a human being and you are a different species from them, you do not understand their form of communication. Now, the fact that they do not communicate in a language intelligible to you does not mean they do not communicate. My God. Now, in like manner, God can just pick a man at random, can train the man, develop the man, empower the man, fortify the man, and give that man his spirit so that he is able to communicate with that man with by his spirit. Enunti sewo wonti aboa ene aboa kasa no. Enunti sewo aboa ni aboa nkasa wo. So the fact that you cannot understand the form of communication between animal species it does not mean that those animals do not communicate one with another. And so the fact that you do not hear the voice of God does not mean that God does not speak with any man. It is a good place to put your hands together for the Lord. Now a man can train a pet and the pet can understand communication from his master. So a man can train his, his, his dog to the extent that the dog can understand the instruction of his master. So the master says to the dog, sit and the dog will sit. Walk, the dog will walk. Chase after it, the dog will chase after it. And so nipa, Mm. So if a man can train a dog or a pet for the pet to understand the language of the man and heed the instructions of its, of its master, then God who is invisible is also able to train a man for the man to hear his voice and heed his, his instructions. I have parrots in my house. Now, now when you speak, the parrots hear you. Now, now there is one of the parrots I have in my house that can speak with you as though it was a man speaking to you. That power can communicate with you in English language. Last be or can bro fubi Emma Masofo on a bako Ebusa say ah my born or timi can or pronounce bro for casa party say nipa. Now there was there was one occasion that this power said a word in English language, and one of my pastors was baffled. He said that is it is this bed an ordinary parrot to the extent that it's able to pronounce a word correctly in this manner. Now, God is so wonderful to the extent that every creation of God or every creature of God, God is able to communicate with that creature or that creation. say, but and so you will hear a bird chirping or a bird tweeting but to your surprise God understands the tweets and the chirpings of the birds but but so, and so you hear a bird chirping 
Now, when, when the bird is happy, it will chirp in the, in the same sound. When the bird is sad, it chirps in the same sound. If you were a bird like it, you would have understood the meaning of its chirping at every point in time. But we are not Now, if you were a bird, you would have understood what the chirpings or the tweets of that bird means. And it would have been intelligible to you. But because you are human, the chirpings of the bird are unintelligible to you. I'm telling you, Onyame, on Cassandra Nipangua, or Cassandra Napodia. Now, so you're sensitive. Now, God communicates with both animate and inanimate objects. God communicates with trees, communicates with water bodies, communicates with the stars, and all manner of things. In like manner, all animate and inanimate objects also understand the voice and the communication and instruction of God. If you are sensitive, you would understand or you hear the communication and the voice of God when he speaks. Now, because of time, one of these days. Now, because of time, I'm going to summarize my message. But if God permits, we're going to continue into detail one of these days. Now, God spoke, and a horse understood or heard the voice of God and understood it. Now, the, the rider of the horse, who was a prophet, that prophet did not see the vision that the horse saw. Not until the time that God opened his eyes. That was when he saw what the horse had seen. Assembly, West Bay, Language pain that Jesus at the Cassachi Apostle watching now. Which which words, which language did Jesus use in speaking to the boisterous winds? Okay, Hebrew. And now, okay, did he speak Hebrew language or Aramaic or what language? Oh, to me, Cassa, no pass watching upon an assortment at Tinia, yes, who can not Oma obey a po, ye deen or ye deen. I don't believe so, okay, Chief. And and Jesus could speak to the to the to the to the boisterous wind and will say to it that be be quiet and it will be quiet. I don't believe that Jesus spoke to you. Means Now what Jesus said which the boisterous wind heard and obeyed and became calm, it stands to reason that God is able to speak to everything that he has created. Noah only wa wa kasai, Emma wa wobe dinechi, wa wa nene wife. Only monkey, e kasai, Emma monkey, nene wife, e be dinechi. Yemu se hon se language pen na no wa, ene mwa ne communicate ya, omu be dinechi, ene ne kwa ake no mu. E ye kasabe ya. Neche se, onyami, Emma no wa ti, mwa ne kasa, Emma mwa no so ti, no wa kasa, and I know one name one communicate. So, you may be say about the Now, Mom, I'm a dimachi. Now, I'm a demo baby or say a bean come on. 
na emu a omu yo suti etie de no wakan ye no obi ka kire na yire se besere me enko ya obi se akosu a besere me enko obi se he same eh kuku a force mo besere me enko ko di papa na chi now e ye den na nipa timi kasa e wo wuram e ma no ma moa no timi wa nyina timi tri ne kasa e ko di na chi na odu omu ko rua ak no now, so do not be surprised when somebody says that he has heard the voice of God or when God speaks to a man to declare his word to the people or instructs the people in accordance with the word of God because I've already told you that when Noah went into the forest, how did he communicate with those animals, with the snakes, with the monkeys, with the ducks, with the crocodiles? God had given Noah the power to speak and his word that he spoke was intelligible to those animals and when the animals spoke what they said were also intelligible to Noah's understanding that is why they were able to follow Noah in pairs into the ark now it hurts me that there is no time now let me say something to you God speaks now and, and we have a duty we have a duty to say what God has instructed us to say and not what men want us to say now the fact that some prophets do not hear the voice of God and the fact that some prophets are false prophets, and the fact that some prophets only imagine things and they speak them as though they were prophecy, does not mean all prophets are like that. Now, when you find a prophet, you would realize or you would also find that it is God that speaks to that prophet. He hears the voice of God and he declares the word he, he heard from the voice. And so if God tells the prophet, declare death, he cannot declare life. We must have this understanding so that we do not exert pressure on the prophet. Because pressure Because the now, now because the prophets are under so much pressure because anytime God speaks to a prophet to declare because of the pressure from the people now, or the criticism man of God Elijah Ubewu. Elijah catch the Ahab say, Ubewu. Elijah catch the Jezebel say, O Babewu. And so some men of God, he, Omu believe Elijah, so I a prophet. I didn't think a prophet be, and declare, Obewu, our ya tami mwa, na ya against his our prophet, you know. Someone can say, Obewu. Na Elijah, the Okan, were right. But also, Ben Paddy Okan, were wrong. Mu ye hypocrite. Now, now, in our time, you would also find men of God, that will castigate and criticize prophets for prophesying about the deaths of people. But in the Bible, you, you read the Bible or they read the Bible and they find Elijah prophesying to Ahaziah that he is going to die. And several instances in the Bible where a prophet prophesied about the death of somebody. Yet they will criticize prophets in contemporary times for prophesying about the death of others. When they do that, they are hypocrites. Isaiah prophesied the same as I as prophesy, say your will, O Babu. But man of God, be no more against a deep for Musho Wohun come. A believer prophet Isaiah, a preacher about Isaiah, a Yibu revelations, a Mimu mystery. But nowadays, prophet be prophesy, Sasuma Sibewa, not those men of God, or who believe Isaiah, they are. Preaching against now our prophets. Now, Isaiah prophesied to Sennacherib. He prophesied to um, Hezekiah that they were going to die. 
and told them how they were going to die. However, there are men of God in our day that preach against men of God who prophesy to other people that they are going to die. And I'm in tears here. Now, these things baffle my understanding. That's awful. Daddy. I'm in tears here. What do you say, Anna? I don't understand. I'm in tears here. What do you mean, can't you let me say? different from our time. Now you cannot but say Bible to me. But Bible is the same yesterday, today, and forever. You cannot say to me that their time is different from our time. Their dispensation is different from our dispensation. The Bible says that Jesus is the same yesterday. He is the same today and forever. Sure. Elisha prophesied. Now Elisha prophesied. Said the people of Samaria that there will be food in abundance in the land of Samaria. Or he no seven be. Challenging now, Elisha Elisha catch them and say, Prophets in a basic, but who be now one of the king's stewards say a castle, say a revelation on your you a sea. One of the king's stewards challenged the prophecy of Elisha. Elisha said to him that the prophecy will come to pass, you would see it with your eyes, but you will not eat it. A mm. men of God, any kind of for the brebe, a practice Peter. Syndrome, now we are living in a time that many men of God and many people are just practicing or reacting in the Peter syndrome. Jesus said, Now Jesus said, The Son of Man must die. Peter said, No, no, man, but Peter said, No, no, we are not ready to hear anything about death. Now that is the Character of many Ghanaians. Ghanaians. But as we are different, we hey, is So we say different in your Those people are don't Now, if God reveals something to a prophet. And the prophet decides not to say what God has revealed to him. And the thing happens, people will come with a loud outcry and say that the prophets did not see this thing happening. Also, for Daddy. Message that to us, preach you. Now, we're going to continue My this time message. Share, tell me. Time of Peter. I can't hear Christ when I mean, or prophesy for a woe. What is it as my Jesus guy? Or see, get deep behind me, Satan. And your uncle for be your hand on my own. Omo criticizing come she to a stand say a be pave way. I'm a Satan. I strike it because mommy can't see good wind draw. So when you be any me who na yan can a be see by your me me who me a can you bet me a bomb pie. I'm a yam 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 a bob. I see a no kind. And you know you can a yeah. And I yam can a yeah. Sure, your papa. Jerry John Rollins, Nadi, no me 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 who no say onwa, but Ghana for attempt the DNT. She said me missi kano, me can't polish you no, but nebi onya me person me can't polish you no. Ebi anka me can't ni peya, kapa pane beti ya suma se mungo flow zu ben pamra. But anam se me kano kasa kwa, anam Ghana for attempt the DNT. Ohu impa wa anti ya si, se se me si ex president, ah ekoma NDC. One says, Prophets in the Basso Bayare, no be the same thing happen here. But a Bianca, you can play a bonnie ding and uncle two one or more. Uncle that's what you are there. Mission come na me body be a magana for the maternal, but Sandy Panoya too spiritual and to an old man and crop for Momopa. Am I true that many missionary or they make on the bedroom? Only me think come on catch me playing some man of God. They are what kind of mehunu? But catch them on your couple. So on my time, kakran, I'm in front of two mechi. God is my witness. So prophets way, God of what the matter? Am I uncle for me? But have the say I saw her. Bubu bubu niyama papa glasses. Am I nikoye hey? 
but Papa did me cross any bedroom hormono. Only me din come on. Or catch them be plain. Say on him. Say say or that's what he has it. But an assistant. A we. Yes, and will be a sample replace one who's we. But still or that's what he has it. Sans some comes and buy it on Chitumu. While I'm fine, I can see some album on Chitumu to one among. Hallelujah. Amen. Wait, I say. Or brand who wants it, which has all the spiritual things I say. And Jaya Mamunya Sadiana Moyano Gana for Munya Sadiano. Yet it was a calamities as you see. O Coca, yes, you are deep for Nabano, who may know deep for, who may not suffer me. I'm an Ababes one, no superchi. Hey, no deep for me, I shall come for about to hypocrite. Says somewhere. A train ya obey me to my Israel. Not Israel for Kotuaba, not the same person. And over to a man, a soul, a only D Israel. When you meet me, I can't so deep for say, my choose will be from NDC, my choose will be from PPP, my choose will be from NPP, or my lady Ghana, or deep one can, and your bonnet. Because Samuel can, and your bonnet, say Nathan can, Solomon, and your bonnet. So what if we be so can obi any amia yina mo maino? Eni kwa si ya kuro no ni dinner time na ya supper no ya heya na ya pamo nyango pon kasa every woman um si anya ready si beti anya me kasa no me bi ya su anya me kasa wamo no woman esum adore ye na one of these days me kanse me tamaso into the anya sorry yina hono. One of these days, let's, uh, let's be upstanding. Put your hands together for Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen.